Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how to use the SSH tunnel as alternative to router port forwarding and ngrog. In this case, you have a old PC you want to use as a web server to host your blog website and you want it visible to many people outside your home network. But your home network is behind an NET and you can't do port forwarding. And you don't want your website domain change every time you turn off the tunnel service client like an NCROG. So the first thing we need is uh, get a VPS. And then we will, after creating our, our first VPS, it's no matter how much the specs, how much the specifications, we will log into the SSH with server at our VPS. Then, you know, first thing I will type SSH root at or at potato VPS. Wait, okay. After it, we will type the password and go ahead to the interactive field. All right, now go ahead to the SSH configuration directory and then go to SSHD config. All right, so this is what you need to uncomment. You need to set the allow TCP forwarding to yes, gateway port to yes. Uh, right, I will, let's see if we need none there, right? So, after changing your SSHD configuration file, you need to run system CTL restore SSHD. So, it will restart the SSH server and then mm, Log out from the SSH session now. You next step is go to your project directory. All right, this time I want to use a, a Node as web server right here. Uh, yeah, now after. While waiting for the web server is installed, we will going to type SSH. We will going to log in again to the SSH server, but this time with no interactive shell access. And then with reverse tunnel because we want to forward the local host port into uh, our or the PS public address so in this case I want to forward port 300 from localhost 300 and then type the user and host name now start the web server and type in the root password and red now all the web server is running it the ssh tunnel is started so i want to access it from all right so I will type my host name with port 300. It should show this one array. And it will return the same thing uh, in localhost 300. Alright, you can see right here. It's actually the same 
page, but this one is actually a public IP address of our VPS. So don't forget to subscribe to get the latest video from me. Thanks for watching.